Uh, we're welcoming back Richard Southern, of course, and uh, I have to admit it's kind of boring around the office these days. There's not a lot of people to talk to, uh, but it sounds like people are itching to start working from the office again, Richard. Yeah, well, good on you, uh, Erica, because you've been coming into work and you're, you know, you're very much a frontline employee keeping us uh, informed. So we thank you for that. But yeah, a lot of people like myself have been working from home for a while, and it seems uh, a slim majority are eager to get back to work. We got a new survey in today from Nanos, and they asked Torontonians, hey, you want to go back to work? 64% said, yeah, we'd like to go back to the office. But there is one thing that really worries people in the survey. You know what it is, Erica? What's it's that? it's the elevator. Hmm. Makes people sense. Are worried about crowding and you know the big office it's not a big deal for you in the newsroom but you know the big office towers downtown you know how you get smashed into the elevator so that's a big concern another uh, thing that popped up on the survey people are worried about the commute and traffic and because you know they gotten used to not commuting CIBC and BMO both said today they're not going to ask their employees back until at least the end of June. But yeah, I'm worried about you in the newsroom. You're always posting stuff on social yes. about how empty it is. How empty it is and how the chairs have become my friends now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, the racial reckoning continues around the globe and eyes have now turned to Dr. Seuss and some of his books. Six Dr. Seuss books will no longer be published because of the racist and insensitive imagery in the books. And this is, or making the decision here, is the business that preserves and protects the author's legacy. So the family, uh, we believe, certainly behind this move. Uh, you know, while he's a beloved children's artist, in fact, still very beloved, he's the, Forbes ranks him the second highest paid dead celebrity. But despite that, you may not know it, Dr. Seuss has a, a long history of publishing racist and anti-Semitic work, particularly when you go back to the 20s when he was a student. You know, he drew uh, black boxers as gorillas, perpetrated troubling Jewish stereotypes. And you see examples of that in some of these books we're looking at now that will no longer be published. So, you know, it's a controversial one, but I think when you're dealing with kids, you, you want to make sure that they get started on the right foot and they don't see any of these troubling stereotypes, right? Yeah, and, and I've also, you know, heard some people argue that it could be a teaching tool. So, you know, taking it out of circulation maybe, but having it still exist as a way to sort of teach about, you know, the past and what's what's wrong with it, right? Yeah. Um, and finally, in lighter news, fans of peanut butter will soon be getting a chance to bite into a new and somehow improved snack. Tell me about this. Yeah, let's end on a good note, a very good note, especially if you like peanut butter. So uh, Reese's, famous for their, of course, uh, chocolate and peanut butter uh, cups, they're coming out now with one that's just made 100% of peanut butter. No chocolate involved, Erica. What do you think of this? I mean, I could just have peanut butter, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better than using the, the, the fork or the knife in the right, jar, right? Right, okay. Uh, but Hershey's coming up with this for a limited time. Uh, they're really trying a bunch of different things. We were talking last week about how they're coming out with uh, ones that are stuffed with potato chips. So there yeah. you go. A lot of crazy <laughs> stuff going on in the snack aisle, Erica. My dog would love that, definitely. Uh, <laughs> before we let you go, though, Richard, we have some breaking news. Uh, various sources confirming today that... Uh, uh, it's your birthday? Oh boy. It's your I can birthday. Confirm that. It's true. Happy <laughs> birthday, Richard. All of us at uh, City News want to wish you a very happy birthday. Oh. It's sort of still in this lockdown uh, phase, but. Um, this is my, my, my first and hopefully last pandemic birthday, but thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here with my favorite people like you, Erica, celebrating. Well, I hope you're going to celebrate a little bit more tonight. Maybe have a drink uh, and uh, have a Zoom party or something with friends. If you insist, fine. I will have a drink later. <laughs> you got to take one for the team. Uh, thanks, Richard. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>